Hi guys, welcome back to Freak Fishing and welcome back to what is still a beautiful day. Now as you see me nose from uh, fishing with Senan um, on the last, I think it's about two videos ago at this point, uh, my nose got absolutely burnt to bits and then blisters come out so I'm on the, I'm on the mend but uh, I have the sun cream on today, I have the boat on and we're going to a new lake. Um, I have very little clues about what this lake is like or where to fish it. I have been told it's a good enough lake. I have been told it's uh, there is fish in it. So we will just see where uh, the evening takes us. It's about 20 to 6 now and finished up work about half an hour early. And we're going to um, just explore the lake. Main plan I'd say would be uh, get on a few shallower lures and just kind of troll around see what's what just in case I hit a shallower ridge but I have been told it's a fairly safe lake in that respect and see what we can pick up and um, thinking of putting on maybe the gravity twitch and something like the line true roach now against what you might think the roach been a heavy heavy lure it actually only goes down when you're trolling about two mile an hour it only goes down to about 10 foot 12 at the most so it's it's a fairly shallow lure for the size of it so we're going to troll them and uh, see who we get on i uh, i more want to map the lake i want to see what's what and then i want to kind of see where i'm going to pick to fix to, to fish next time and kind of focus on areas a little bit more but we'll, uh, we'll get going it's going to be a really point of view type of video i have one camera with me i have the gopro with me and we're going to just see what happens but without further ado, let's get going. Now guys, we are on the road, or on the water. But um, yeah, I was chatting to two wee fellas there and they haven't caught anything, so let's hope I have better luck than they had. But they're only here. So um, at the moment, waiting on the fish finder to turn on and we're gonna get mapping. But as you can see, blue skies, there is nothing that clears the head after work as actually going out fishing or doing something like this. Just. Yeah, everyone, I think everyone has to do it. Whether it be running, whether it be fishing, whether it be anything at all. But hopefully we get a fish. Now, so, the gravity twitch is out. And let's check our box, our goodies, and see what I will try. And straight away, my eye will be drawn to this. I know I said I'd do the gravity twitch, or the not the gravity twitch. I know I said I'd do the line two roach, but uh, I actually brought the wrong box. I brought the deeper trolling lures. So we'll just settle with the slightly smaller stuff, which is probably going to be a higher catch rate. But we'll um, put the perch on and put her out, and we just kind of motor around for a wee bit just to see to get to know the lake. And then we can pick places to cast maybe another day. But primar primarily it'll be uh, figuring out the lake, seeing what's what. So this has caught me a few very good fish. It actually caught me a PB before. And uh, hopefully I can manage a few more. But uh, I'm not sure about the PB today, lads. We'll, um, we'll not put that pressure on ourselves because if we do we'll be disappointed and especially in a slow lake now yeah, let's have a look this is actually the tricky part of a new lake i'm in uh, 30 foot of water and there is no sign of life no sign of anything so i need to see where that drop off is um, but the problem is, if I go too close to the edge, I don't know if there's going to be a jut of land coming out. I was told there wasn't, um, but down there I do see that there's rocks sticking out. So um, I'm just a little bit weary of where we're going. It's climbing a bit, but I'm getting fairly close to the edge. Um, but no, nothing on the finder. So we keep searching. So there's the first sign of life. But... Uh, I'm fairly sure our lures are not going to be near that. They're going to be around this here, this level. But the 10 to the gravity twitch might go down a bit deeper. 
but look at it's only one way to find out where this fish are and let's get into the water well, if you can see that there's a lot of little bits floating around here so I don't know if that's really a good sign or a bad sign I don't know what it is actually it looks a bit like a hatch maybe but um, we'll not go too fast so First sign of life guys, first sign of life, and then I can continue searching, but we were definitely a nice place. First cast on the blue eel, and uh, it's nice enough. In what way is it? Probably it's six pound. Never go anywhere. Get him in the net. And she's not smaller than six pound, but uh, that's annoying. Anyway, we'll go again. My own fault. I uh, I held the hooks to way too high for her. Felt a lot heavier than that fish. The boat must have been moving a little bit. Day one in this new lake, we found one fish. It came off. Oh, look, I wasn't too worried to be fair. Look at the size of it. I was kind of good off, good off. But uh, we found a good few spots of bait fish, and that can be a massive telltale sign. So. Um, so the next part of this video, when you see me again, we're going to be heading out again on this lake. But uh, until then guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next few minutes. But I'll be seeing you in about, I think, a day or two. We'll see you then. Well guys, welcome back. So, we're on the lake again and we'll just have a look and see what happens it'll be uh, just interesting to see now what what pops up or what doesn't because uh, it was quiet the last time and there wasn't much bait fish so i'm hopefully going to find out uh, if we can get any but we'll look at we'll keep mapping the place and we'll keep finding the week the good spots that holds the bait fish so at the moment we're at uh, 20 foot and we're very very close to the sea or to the to the shore not the sea but as you can see, it's fairly quiet there on the on the fish finder. There's no real markings for much. Mind you, there's a shoal there. So I'll just put away a point there and we'll slowly build up what, um, where, where we'd like to fish. But hopefully that'll, um, that'll tell us good things to come. Well, there's, there's plenty there now. So hopefully something will go off here. The lures are running shallow. I've had uh, the line through roach uh, on the heavy rod and I have the gravity twitch on the other rod. So we'll just see what comes about it. I get my Minkota set up anyway. And we can have a look. Uh, just means if we catch one we can stay in the one spot. Have one guys. Spot look. Small one, whatever it is. But it's a fish. What is it? Hungry little fella. Hungry little fella. Oh, and again, literally didn't get a chance to check that rod. This one's a little bit better. 
but <laughs> talk about action. Oh, he's feisty wee fella. I'll just get the net in case it's a bit bigger than we think. No, another wee fella. And the rattle trout. He might come off here actually, will he? No. No! Especially in the space of five minutes each on the rattle trout. Let's get this back out and let's get moving again. Oh. So, the rattle trout's working. Now, I'll put that back out. In the last video, on the last fish, I uh, literally got that out and I'm gonna check this rod now to uh, make sure when it's sitting on the bottom it's not full of stones and all, but uh, that's literally gone off one after another. So we'll uh, keep in this area now. I think we should keep this area for a while longer. And then we might move to the next area that we've seen which was fairly decent the last time. Uh, could even be a good option to uh, put something slightly deeper on this rod. So I'm not sure which, but I'll take a look now and we'll see what what it is. I have the bore bits in the smaller sizes with me. Um, and we'll just have a go. But yeah, good fun. Now, so I think I could be wise throwing maybe that or that. Um, probably this one. It seems to be the colour of choice today, certainly with the rattled roach. And uh, that goes down fairly deep too, so we'll uh, I might put that out now and we'll have a look um, and see what happens. But this will go down about I'd say 15 foot, 18 foot. So it should be just hitting over the edge of the of the bait fish. But we'll um, we get moving over the area again. Uh, I might give it one more pass with the bigger roach and just go from there. And as it was turning, the line shoe roach dropped down and it got a hit. But as luck would have it, the GoPro, being a GoPro, corrupted the file. So we don't have a fish to show. But she was only about six pound, so we haven't missed enough. Get moving again. I want to um, maximise on this feeding window get that one out and I have to put together this roach it's the only downside I'd see to having this roach is uh, every time you catch you have to re-rig re it but it means that when these hooks come away from the bait uh, it doesn't you don't lose the fish near as easy so all in all it's not a bad complaint Right, let's get this one back out. Twenty foot. Uh, it's going mad, and it's either side of us in the side scan. So you can see that. What we'll see, what else today brings. A lot of fish this side. Now, guys, so let me know what uh, what you think of the kind of the raw style videos um, in terms of the evening fishing videos I uh, I can't really kind of put the same effort in but uh, then when I go on the kind of the weekend trips I can really put a lot of effort in so tell me if you like a mix of both or would you prefer all this kind of raw clips or would you like to see a bit of both uh, different times and uh, yeah I'd like to hear what you think gone a bit quiet from uh, where I was so I'm gonna pull them in and uh, we'll go to a different spot that we've uh, seen in the last video and uh, see does that produce anything it's where we actually lost i'm heading to where we actually lost a little one um, it was no big deal but uh, there's definitely fish there when there was the last time so i think it's just time we'll finish this little run here and we'll go and see what's in the next spot right guys another one
Let's have a look and see what we have coming towards us. Now, how in God's name did you feel that heavy? How in God's name? <laughs> Let's just chin him out. Bike number four, guys. This rattle trout has, is really cleaning up from here. Now, so it's getting uh, time to get moving. So I'm gonna finish up on this last spot. But on the way back, uh, the first spot we were in, I'm gonna actually fish with this. So this is the perch shad, and as you know, absolutely love this thing putting on 10 grams away because the fish have been caught at about 20 25 foot and i do think even though that fish that uh, the lane tree roach and that caught i think it's going to be a better bet to actually get them down amongst the fish so there we go and have a go with that uh, i'll just finish off this this troll here on the route and then we'll motor back so what i'm thinking is the rattle trout goes deeper, so that's what that way it is. And it also has a rattle in the tail, but so does the perch. It has a rattle in there. So we'll just see, does that make a difference and does that help catch over this? So there's fish here, and uh, I just put out the perch and the rattle trout. And hopefully it's the rattle in the tail that's doing it, which means that perch will work, because it'll get down with the weight, even though it's quite a shallow lower usually. But uh, 10 grams would be quite a lot for a little, a little or like that. So we'll go up and down here a wee, for a few minutes and then we'll have to head home because as you can see, it's getting uh, getting quite dark. But yeah, <laughs> brilliant evening. Um, it's always amazing to get out when, you know, if you catch a few fish in a day, never mind in the space of an hour, uh, it's, always, it's always a bonus. So there's the new lake, fairly sussed. Um, as you can see, we, uh, I'm doing a lot of trolling and that's purely down to I can cover more water, I can map more water, I can map the lake more, I can see where the hot spots are a lot quicker than casting and uh, and then we can kind of focus on casting on a few um, little bits that or a few sections that I want. But there is more exploring to do but we've a kind of a nice grip of the lake now to see what's what. So uh, let me know if you find this helpful and uh, we'll see you next time guys. So I'm just trolling back to the slipway and um, as always, it's a great it's a great day if you catch anything. But to be out for the evening and catch four pike is uh, is very good. So it's always always a bonus. And we'll um, see you next time, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. If you can share with your friends, that'd be amazing. We we'll see you.